guys and welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title, today I am sharing with you a bit of a, a makeup declutter clear out. This year I'm really trying to reduce the amount of things I have. I think I said the same thing last year and honestly I really have managed to reduce the amount of th things I own. I'm not trying to be a minimalist, 100% that's just not me, but equally I am a messy person, therefore I need to also be a person that doesn't have a lot of stuff because it's much easier to keep a tidy house and a tidy mind I think as well by just having less stuff. But before we get started, hi my name is Sabrina, I talk about largely fashion and beauty here on YouTube but I also touch on a few other things, I have linked all my socials down below but if you do enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe. As I mentioned today I am clearing out my makeup and honestly I don't feel that I've quite found the perfect solution to keep my makeup. I want to have a small acrylic set of drawers but even that it's not ideal. I at the moment store it on my floor in my bedroom which isn't great but I really actually do enjoy doing my makeup on the floor next to mirror but I am kind of looking for maybe maybe a dressing table I'm not sure we haven't really like done up our room enough for me to know if a dressing table will even work in there but I am kind of keeping an eye out because if there is one I love then maybe I will get it but at the moment I have my makeup in like baskets and bags and drawers and empty drawers and it's just not working so i really just need to clear it out and kind of just rejig things put things back where they're supposed to be but i wanted to mention that i did start my beauty blog 12 years ago and ever since then i have been sent product from beauty brands and therefore my makeup collection is slightly bigger than a regular person's makeup collection i am kind of trying to reduce it but what i'm saying is that this isn't really the norm it's not what you should aspire to in my opinion i often just have to try new product and also i need product to kind of refer to in the future if something does come out that's similar to something else i am trying to keep this makeup that i'm showing you today as largely like my everyday makeup even that is slightly bigger than what a normal person's everyday makeup would be but now let's go to my kitchen table which is where i've decided to film this although let me just say i'm really really sorry i decided to sit on a very 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 squeaky chair so i'm hoping we can look past that I just put everything down. I think it's much easier for me to sort everything here. This is what is supposedly my everyday makeup, but it's just super unorganized. So much that I don't use. This is what I think I want to have as my main makeup storage. Everything does need a clean as well, but I feel like if I can just have this, I will be happy. I think I'm gonna have a drawer where I store other things um, elsewhere, because realistically, this is my job, so I do need other stuff. I do want to have a big, big clear out. I want to prioritise finishing items. I want to make sure this is, this is actually full and not just completely empty and then I'm storing stuff in stupid baskets. I think like this is maybe what I took on holiday in August. And although I have like used items, I never fully emptied it. But actually what I think I'm going to do first off camera is sort everything into different compartments. I need lips all in one place. I need um, eyes all in one place and so on. Before we get started, I want to point out that um, my nails are a mess. Uh, please excuse that, this one broke. Uh, generally, I have just painted them terribly and then the polish came off these two, which is great. And this happened about three minutes before I sat down and unfortunately, I just want to get this video finished and I just, I feel like we have to ignore that. My hands are a bit of a state. This towel is actually an off-white, annoyingly. I feel like it looks like it's dirty, but it's definitely clean. It just came out of the wash. Honestly, I'm not too sure why, but we are going to start with lipsticks. I hope this lighting is okay. I know it's not perfect, but I really did try. These are the lipsticks I currently have in my collection. I have other lipsticks elsewhere. It's just that they're not in the collection. And I feel like this is where I really start streamlining. Because I don't feel that I'm that attached to these. But yeah, I will end up keeping half of them, which is super duper annoying. The first one I am going to get rid of, though, is this one from NARS. I like this. I really do. This is the Power Matte Lip Pigment in Fire My Red. But the truth is that I just haven't been wearing anywhere near as many red lipsticks as I used to. I don't typically reach for liquid lipsticks as much. And although this is a nice colour, it's almost like too bright for me. And typically I'd reach more for a Ruby Woo sort of shade, which is this. I mean, I guess they don't look that similar, but you can see this one's just that little bit more orange. Typically, I we'll prefer this. So I think I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to keep this. I actually think I've got a new one of these. Um, I've had this one for a little while. Actually, it smells fine. You can really tell when a MAC lipstick's gone off, and this one smells still very much like the signature MAC lipstick. So maybe I'm just going to keep this. I actually don't love this packaging. It's cool that it is limited edition packaging, but I don't love it. But this is MAC Ruby Woo, and I'm keeping it because it is, in my opinion, one of the best red lipsticks. I actually think I've only got one more red lipstick in here. Again, I don't going to keep this. I've had this for a while. This is a Armani Rouge Darmani Matte. Actually, I say that, but there may be another red in here. But again, this is like a really beautiful... 
in my opinion like more wintry red it smells fine i have had it long these this is just my own personal collection i have definitely had the majority of this for too long but that's my decision it's only used on me so i feel like that's okay also i feel like i might only have one other red lipstick i actually suspect i've got at least one more if not two and here's the other one. Oh, i feel like i really shouldn't keep all of these but i think i'm going to this is Charlotte Tilbury red carpet red really beautiful red again probably one that i'd be more likely to reach for than this but for now i am going to keep this okay we have lady danger which is very different to the rest of them but i have had it for a little bit too long regardless i'm going to keep it because i just feel like it's good for me to have these sort of colors for references i know this is four red lipsticks but in the grand scheme of things compared to what my collection used to be once in a time four isn't too crazy these also need to be washed out but i think i'm going to do that once i've decided what i'm keeping this is a linda Holberg lipstick i find this to be just too cool tone for me so that can go i do like these but just this shade isn't for me i think this is maybe just too pink for me i do like it i am tempted to maybe keep this this might actually go into the maybe pile for now we'll see then there's the clarins instant light this was such a cult product a couple years ago not a couple uh, maybe like five years ago these are great i'm gonna keep this for now because i do feel like it's a great product but i don't really reach for it so if i don't if i carry on not reaching for it it kind of has to go this is a code h lipstick which i basically like blended myself so i picked this color i actually find that it separates a little bit but color wise this is probably my perfect color so obviously i'm gonna i'm gonna keep this this is another code 8 product i do like but i think i'm gonna get rid of it because i just i simply don't reach for it code 8 is such an expensive brand and i do think they have great products it doesn't mean i necessarily think they're worth the price because i feel like there's a lot of brands that have great products that aren't anywhere near as expensive a urban decay local shine lipstick so i think it's a shine lipstick in the shade local i'm gonna say that's a bit too pink for me so we're gonna get rid of it i, I need to not think about things too much it's the sort of shade that i wouldn't ever wear by itself i'd like blend it with other items so i feel like if i've got so many lipsticks i don't really need shades that i can only wear if i'm mixing them with other stuff nars audacious lipstick in the shade anita clearly that has been worn quite a lot i hate when lipsticks do this and i think this is the only lipstick i've had that's done this but my mum weirdly has some that do do this quite a lot the shade is here i think that's actually a really beautiful shade probably the closest one that we found to the shade that i personally mix so we'll keep that another urban decay lipstick this one is a matte in the color hitchhike this one's a little bit different to the other shades i've got which does tempt me to keep it. I'm going into the maybe with this one. I need to try this on and decide because it is different to the rest. We've got Mac Brave, again, doing a sniff test. That's the shade here. I do like it. We're going into the maybe. I'm unsure. Faux by Mac. There's something about Mac lipsticks that just really, I really just want to keep them all. And I know it's irrational, but we're going into the maybe with that one. It's because Growing up, all I ever wanted was matte lip MAC lipsticks. They, I dreamt of them. That still lives with me. This is an Urban Decay cream lipstick in the shade Liar. Absolutely no, no idea what happened here. Actually, I suspect I probably squashed it inside the lid. But this really desperately needs a clean. Oh, you know what? I'm keeping this. And instead, I'm going to get rid of the other one, which was this one. Because this one, I feel like it's like a... I find that liar is a more wearable shade which height is also matte and i find that matte lipsticks don't always look like good on me especially if they're like nudier shades I'm, I'm keeping this this is the charlotte tilbury pillow talk lip gloss let's do matte lipsticks i feel like i'm really jumping about so here we have whirl which is a matte shade realistically this is way 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 too brown for me this is not a shade that i would buy i think this came in like a set but i am going to keep it sometimes it's just good to have these sort of shades for reference for myself but it's not going to be in this collection i'm going to keep it elsewhere mare which kind of like a pinky shade i actually see lots of people wear this and i just don't think it suits me again i'm going to keep all the max let's be honest I, unless i actually think they're off where it's whether i'm going to keep it in here i actually think i'm going to keep mare in here because i would like to start wearing it more and see if i do like it because people say it's like their favorite then i've got a second ruby woo and the truth is i don't think i don't need a second one and i also think um i have a a, a brand new ruby woo somewhere i think i can still back to mac so i think maybe i'm going to try and back to mac this one because i think back to mac as a scheme ends very soon at least in the uk i don't know about anywhere else then we have velvet teddy which i think was quite an iconic shade for the last um decade i'm gonna keep that i'm actually gonna keep that in here i know i just don't really like nudes that are matte but it's such an iconic lipstick that it's quite a nice one to have and then here is peach blossom um i have well and truly run out of space this one is super pink 
I do like it. I think it's a really beautiful shade, but I don't think it's a shade I would realistically wear often. So it's gonna go into elsewhere. I don't need it as part of like my everyday decision. I feel like decision fatigue is a thing. I've been speaking about that a fair amount and uh, I just kind of want to minim minimize that because of this, because of that. Charlotte Tilbury in between the sheets, super pink. I actually think that is a beautiful color. I don't know why I've done that so big. I'm gonna run out of space again. I'm gonna keep it because it's Charlotte Tilbury. And again, I just find her lipstick so iconic, but not in the everyday drawer. This is like one of my favorite ever lipsticks, but I've had it just too long. Um, I'm gonna keep it again, just more for reference. I actually think this might be my favorite lipstick ever. This is Charlotte Tilbury pocket pout in kiss me quick i just found this so beautiful i really enjoyed applying it with my finger i feel like you get a really nice finish when you do that um i don't know if these are still available if they are i might actually be tempted to repurchase it but i think it's going to go into the more like archive makeup this here is pat mcgrath um lipstick i mean honestly that is stunning it's from a netflix collection i can't remember what the program it was for annoyingly i just can't remember what it's called off the top of my head but this is the shade negligee beautiful but i don't know honestly i haven't worn it that much but sometimes i, I, I wonder if that's just because i've had so much stuff in here that it's i've been reaching for other things instead i must admit i probably do have other items in my like handbags especially lipsticks which probably should be in here and aren't it's like i just want to get this all like, more manageable this is charlotte tilbury karina's star pretty Kind of different to any other shade I've got here, I would say, in my opinion. Again, going into the other section, not into the main collection. This is from Nivea. It's a, I think I'm just going to bin this. Just but not because it's not good. It is. Oh, actually, it's got SPF in it. Oh, okay. I'm just going to bin it because it just broke. I was going to apply it and then I broke it. So, yeah, going in the bin. Um, it is useful to have a lip balm with SPF in it, but it's broken. It can go. I then have two other lip balms. We have the verso lip balm serum which is a great one and then the molten brown vitamin lip saver i'm gonna keep this i'm not gonna keep this just because i have so many lip balms this is from nars this is the shade good times and it's, it's a velvet matte lip pencil i'm gonna try it on and then decide but i think i'm pretty sure i'm not gonna love that this is nars velvet lip glide i'm not sure this is gonna work with my skin tone so it's gonna be one that i have to try it on this i actually really like i've obviously had this long because this is mark jacobs this is mark jacobs pretty thing and it's an enamored lip gloss lip gloss is such a good one that you can just smell to see if they're off and i actually think this one might be okay pretty shade i'm gonna keep that then there's this liquid lipstick by honest beauty honestly i just that was an accident i didn't mean to say honestly because it's from honest beauty um i just don't really reach for liquid lipsticks that much i like a lipstick and i like a lip gloss but for some reason there's something about lipsticks that just don't really tempt me that much so i think this is gonna be one that leaves i'm not saying it's bad it's just that i just don't reach for it here we then have a lip balm which is a diptyque one i think this sort of stuff needs to like be moved to my desk so that i can just finish it and i actually think like at the end of this i'm really going to find somewhere that I can put everything that just needs to be finished. And this is kind of that sort of product because it's just so tiny that I think I can finish it quite quickly, but I am gonna keep it. Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Lips, uh, liquid lipstick. Too good, I'm bad. Just too pink. And I've just said that I don't really love a liquid lipstick. It's really tempting to think about it too much. I had more of these. I had like two, I think, two more. And I was really tempted to keep those and I didn't. And I don't miss them one bit. So I don't think I'll miss that either. So that can go. Then I have five hourglass lipsticks. These are the refills. These are actually quite clever. Essentially, if you want to use this lipstick instead, you just like pull this out, clip this one in. It's really hard because these lipsticks are expensive and that makes me want to keep them. But that's not a good reason, I don't think, to keep a lipstick. So let's just see all the colours. I mean, that is actually a really lovely colour. So I think this one I'm definitely going to keep. That was like my instant decision was that that was a, a, a pretty colour. It's in the shade At Dawn. There's this one as well, which is I Can't Live Without You. Let's be honest, it is really nice. Whether I should keep it, I'm not sure. Will I wear it? I don't have anything like that, so I am tempted to keep that too. Oh, I thought I was going to get rid of loads here. This now is at dusk. So the first one was at dawn, which I guess is like a day version. And then we've got this, which is at dusk. Oh, I'm so tempted to keep these all. I think I need to try these on. I mean, beautiful. That's in the shade. If only. And then we've got I woke up. I mean, I actually think they're all beautiful. I think I'm going to keep these. I know, I know, I probably shouldn't, but... Mm, I have a bit of space in here and I feel like next time I do my makeup I just need to actually put these on my face and decide um, because here they just all look beautiful and then lip liners 
It's very tempting just to keep these all. So I definitely want Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. They're iconic for a reason. I actually think I might keep all of these. Maybe the one that I'm tempted to get rid of is this Laura Mercier one. But I just find that like, these are so easy to store that like, it seems like a shame to not just keep them. Even this one, which is Rimmel Exaggerate Full Lip Color Lip Pencil. And honestly, I, I think I'm gonna keep these. Oh, probably a bad decision. But the space in here, this is what we've got. I actually think that is really very reasonable. I am supposedly getting rid of these, which is a lot. I always get a lot of criticism for not getting rid of enough, but I think that is a fair amount. I've got some which I want maybe just for reference. Very, very happy with that. One thing I will say about this though, is that I really shouldn't start any more lip balms. Every time someone arrives, I'm tempted to start it, but it just seems so pointless because I, I really just never finish them. Um, and I actually just spotted, I actually have these two lip balms as well. I'm gonna keep both of them out, but I really do like the Glossier stuff. This is Wild Fig. And then this is rosebalm.com. Um, like I said, I need to go through and like dust everything, clean everything, but um, that's a start. Then these are the items that I'm keeping, but going into a separate space. But again, everything really needs a clean. That's why I don't think I should be storing stuff, not in drawers. Um, I've got five mascaras, which actually is far less than I thought I'd have. This one is probably the one I started most recently. This is the Honest Beauty Extreme Length Mascara and Lash Primer. I hadn't used a mascara with a lash primer for a while. I do like this. Do I think it's the best mascara ever? No, I, I definitely wouldn't repurchase. I'm more of a, a volume mascara person though. So I think that's why I don't love this. Also, this is relatively new as well. This is a volume mascara and I do like this. Very different brush. This is the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara. I feel like the these L'Oreal mascaras have such a strong smell. Like the minute you open them, it smells like mascara. But then I have the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Balm Noir. I've had this for a while. I just feel like it's time for it to go. I also don't think this has a stopper in it. I don't know what happened. It doesn't feel like it's got a stopper, but maybe, maybe it does. But yeah, that's one that can go in the bin because it's finished. Then I have Clinique High Impact Zero Gravity Mascara. I actually did really like this, but I've had this for a while, too long. Um, so another one that I'm going to get rid of. And then the number seven, the full 360 Ultra Mascara. I don't think I loved this. I really, I, I can't remember. So I'm gonna say, I didn't love this. I haven't used it in a while. Um, there's something about this I don't love. It's like it's too fat. It's like not comfortable to hold. Is it fatter than the other ones? It is actually. Like aesthetically, I just don't think this is a nice mascara, which I know maybe isn't that important, but it just adds to the experience and I feel like the experience of using this mascara isn't the best. So I'm gonna keep these two. That's not too bad. I feel like two mascaras is very tame. Although I did think there was a Glossier mascara somewhere, so maybe that'll still pop up. Then onto concealers. I again thought I had way more concealers than this, but I'm actually quite happy that I don't. There's a few that I need to kind of finish sooner rather than later. And those are the ones that I need to have in like the drawer has everything I need to finish soon. This is the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Concealer. I ordered this off Amazon. This is a great, great concealer, but honestly, this is just a little bit too light for me. I think you can probably tell, but it is one that I occasionally reach for if I don't have fake tan on, but it is quite fair. I'm gonna keep it regardless. Then we have NARS Radiance Creamy Concealer. This is probably very close to its last legs if it's not already. I think maybe I'm gonna put this straight into here and this is gonna be everything that I need to finish ASAP because it is almost finished. And same goes for this tart one. I think after, in about a month or so, everything that's in this bag needs to just go in the bin. I've got two Bare Minerals Originals and Bare Minerals Bare Skin. Again, close to finishing. I'm just gonna put this straight into the bag. It needs to be finished and then thrown in the bin. I'm just kind of having a little look. I feel like shade wise, I know that they're okay, but I just wanna see if there's still a lot of product left. There's quite a lot of product left in these. And then this is the Clinique Even Better. Um, which again has a fair amount of product. So these will be keeping. Um, this concealer I really like. It's kind of coming to an end. This is the a Glossier Stretch Concealer in G9, but I do really like that. And so far we've got five concealers. There may be a few other ones popping up. Actually, there may well be, because I forgot that just to the side of me, I have my um, foundation drawer and I, I feel like it's base products generally. So there may be more concealers. This is brow products. There's definitely products in here that I need to finish sooner rather than later oh there's also a a new petra black lacquer lash mascara but i'm gonna put this elsewhere because it hasn't even been started this is actually a lipstick um which i'm 
probably going to keep. It's a Laura Mercier. It's a small one, but I actually really like the shade. It's in the shade Fresh, um, and whenever I wear it, I get a lot of compliments, so I'm just going to add that to the drawer. So there's three It Cosmetics Brow Power Eyebrow Pencils, I guess. I do like these. I don't necessarily think they're the best ever because they're almost a little bit too hard. You need to put a little bit of pressure and therefore often you don't get that much definition in my opinion. So this one is, that's all that's left in that. So that is going to go straight into a bag of items that need to be finished. And then these two are just going to stay in the drawer. I like them. There's no reason for me to get rid of them. And like I said, I think I'm going to add this to the concealer drawer, at least for now. Oh, it doesn't work with the concealer drawer. This is just like a little palette that you can use to mix product. This, I think, is probably close to the end. I'm not going to be able to get that back down. But this is the Benefit Brow Contour Pro. I'm going to keep that in that bag. It needs to be finished. And then we have two Hourglass Arch Brow Pencils. Really do like these, actually. Again, if you want like a super defined brow, like fluffy, I don't think this is for you, but they are great they are expensive though but yeah lots left in these so i'm going to keep these these are also hourglass arch brow volumizing fiber gels it's hard because like how do you work out how much is in here i feel like they both still have a fair amount so i'm going to keep both of these this is the glossier boy brow we'll keep that i feel like there's a lot of in there this is actually a product that I just haven't really used, but I really need to. I feel like I need to sharpen it because I would prefer it to have a sharper point. But this is HD Brows Pencil in the colour Vamp. I'm not sure about the shade, but we'll see. This doesn't say what it is anymore, so I think I'm just going to get rid of it just because even if I love it, I can't repurchase really it because I don't even know what it is. This is Lancome. This shade isn't the perfect shade for me. This is in the shade 2, but I, I think I'll still use it. And then this is a Benefit, oh, so annoying. This is a Benefit Gimme Brow. As you can tell, I've had this for quite a long time, so it needs to be finished ASAP, and it'll, it's gonna go into that drawer. Oh, found a lid for this, which makes me very happy. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Brow Lift Stick. I don't have anything else like this. My brows aren't typically that sort of vibe, but Maybe I would like them to be that vibe, so I'm going to keep this just in case, because I feel like otherwise I'll probably end up buying something similar. And then this is the Lottie Freckle, Freckle Tint. So you basically use it to add freckles, and then you can kind of like tap them. That was an absolutely terrible show of how you do that. Again, maybe not something I will use a lot, but equally, like sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, I want to try freckles. And then I end up buying something to try, the fre uh, try freckles. So as long as I have something, that's good, I think. This drawer doesn't really make sense because we have brows and then concealer. But for now, we'll keep it like that. And because I would like a separate drawer, because hopefully this bag can kind of go in here. Not as a bag, but the contents. Then let's do eyeshadows. I don't think I'm going to get rid of much in here at all if i'm completely honest this is the lorac pro eyeshadow primer useful to have i'm going to keep this this one here though is actually the mark jacobs eyeshadow primer my worry is i don't have any other eyeshadow primers but i feel like this is kind of we've come to the end of this i've obviously had it a long time because mark jacobs beauty isn't even about it was excellent but it's time for it to go i think i've got two palettes here we've got fenty beauty which i like but do i love it no i don't think so um i think actually i'm going to keep both of these in here but at some point soon i'm going to go through my other makeup and introduce a different um eyeshadow palette in here because i feel like neither of these is, is really exciting me this is just a brow palette which has really seen better days but it's a really good shade if i want to wear my hair up and um, add a bit of sh shadow around my hairline this is a mark jacobs eyeshadow it's actually a really good color on me so i'm going to keep that this is a scattered light by hourglass these are beautiful i thought i had four if i've only got two i feel like i can justify keeping two so i'm going to keep those this is a Too faced melted chocolate matte eyeshadow i actually really really like these i feel like we're coming to the end of these um maybe even something that i try to finish but I i'm going to keep that this one though is from Pixie, and if I'm honest, I just don't know if I'm going to keep it because I feel like it's a really nice shadow, but the minute you start to blend it out, it kind of, oh, I don't know actually, with my finger it doesn't look too bad. When I use a, a brush, it really feel, I really feel like it blends to nothing. So maybe it's just a product that I'm going to hold on to, try, and then decide if I'm going to keep it or not. TBC with that one, I think. And this is a Trish McAvoy 24 hour eyeshadow. It's like a pretty little nude shade. I'm going to hold on to this. I literally have got rid of not a single eyeshadow, but I'm not really inspired by this either. I think this will be changing. It's just that at the moment, 
it's fine. And that's the end of this video. This is part one. Next time I'll be clearing out my foundations, my blushes, and a few other bits as well. And if you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe, like this video. If you made it this far, please leave me a comment because I almost can't believe that anyone will make it this far because this is a long video. But thank you if you did. And stay tuned for the follow-up of this video, which will be up next week. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.